I am a recipient of the Scholastic Art and Writing Portfolio Gold Portfolio Award in Photography in um, 2007. Um, just a little background about me during that time. I was a young kid. I'm originally from Bogota, Colombia. I came to the States when I was three years old, and I I grew up here in um, the Brooklyn um, project houses here in Brooklyn, New York. I didn't, art wasn't something that was like a viable, um, realistic dream, you know, like you can have a career in this. I don't know, for me personally, um, Antonio, the person that spoke at my school for the Hope Cat Project, he um, gave me confidence in my artwork by showing me how far he's going with his artwork. He said, just do it, just go for it. If you have an idea, just do it. And also just seeing his success um, get me, gave me more confidence because he talked about how when he was a kid, he didn't really even know that he was an artist. Um, and then he became successful through his art. Um, we're able to see a couple of slideshows of his portfolio. And I remember how personal his portfolio was. It wasn't just a, a drawing of a tree, which can be awesome as well, but it was personal to him and that's what I really loved about it. So that's what I took from it as well. I can put my ideas and I can put my personality and I can put my thoughts into my art and it'll be okay. I believe, yeah, two. I had two entries last year. Two entries, two. Yeah, 30. 30. I entered 30 pieces. My portfolio is about the evils of technology. And um, I was kind of satirical in my presentation. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what it's about. And I created it because I don't know how to talk about it. So <laughs> no, but really, it has completely changed my life because I know I've said confidence like 500 times in this and I'm not just an overly confident person at all, but before my, my junior year, before my first gold key, I never pursued anything in art because I didn't have faith that it would go anywhere or be beneficial to me um, or that people would even look at it. I, I haven't, having someone just appreciate your work is such an awesome experience. And even if kids don't decide to partake in a, or pursue a career in art, just knowing that something that you did was looked at by professionals and by people, like that's such a great feeling. And if they do decide to do that, it's gonna, I'm, it, it's just, yeah, it's changed. It's changed plans for me. Well, since then, I have gotten, I have got an internship with a photographer. Um, a Fort Wayne photographer, Tom Gallagher, who is awesome. And I have also started messing with other mediums, which are awesome and I'm thoroughly enjoying. And um, I've just started creating more and more and I've been doing more research for future projects. And I also applied to an art college, which I got accepted to, which was awesome. And I got a Fulbright scholarship, which was awesome. So, and that would not have happened if um, my scholarship, the reason I got it was because I actually wrote about art. So that was one of my essays. Yeah, actually last time I talked to Max, I told him I wasn't going to college, so. Um, at that time, college was not a priority for me. Um, it just wasn't quite necessary for my future. Um, so I just wasn't looking into it. But then I got involved with Scholastics and just art in general and found a love for it. Um, and right now I still don't know what I want to go to college for, but I know that I want to learn. And that's what I'm excited about. I'm so excited to go to college next year and just learn. But it went from me not wanting to go to college to me applying and in my applications I wrote, um, about art and how it's influenced me and what I wanted to do in my future. And that not only led to me going to college, but it led to me getting a full ride scholarship.